Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot for clicking on the video. Uh, today we will be talking about the IELTS exam that is commonly known as IELTS exam. So IELTS exam stands for International English Language Testing System and this is conducted by IDP Australia, British Council and Cambridge English Assessment Systems. The exam is recognized worldwide and uh, this is commonly used for admission into universities to get employments, to do immigration and there are majorly two types of IELTS examination. One is the academic training and other is the general training. Academic training as the name suggests is used for the university admissions and the general training has variety of purposes. Most common is the immigration purpose. For example, many of the countries, they give you permanent residencies based on your IELTS score. Also, uh, many of the employers can give you a job only when you show the proficiency of working and for that also they need an IELTS score. Many people just take IELTS examination as a proof of achievement that they know good English and just to write it on their LinkedIn profile. So let's talk about the test format. The test is spread into four parts, listening, reading, writing and speaking. So let's talk about the listening part first. For listening, you get 40 questions and to answer them you get only 30 minutes and uh, you have to keep up with the speed of the speaker because you listen everything only once and uh, I think this is the exam of a presence of mind and you really need to practice before you appear for the actual examination. Next is reading section. Reading you have to answer a lot of questions from the RC passages and there are 40 questions that you have to answer in 60 minutes. Next is the writing section where you get two tasks. One is a 20 minute small task and one is a 40 minute big task. And to finish your writing test, you get 60 minutes. Please note that reading, writing and speaking tests are conducted all together and there is no gap in between the examination. So that means for two hours and 40 minutes, you cannot go anywhere. For a speaking test, it's conducted separately and you can appear for it on the same day of exam or you can also take it uh, before or after the examination. For a speaking test, you have to appear for an interview where the examiner takes your 15 minutes interview and judges you for your English proficiency based on the answers you are giving to their questions. Now let's see what is the difference between an academic test and a general training test. So in an academic test, they want to test the skills that are more related to your university and education curriculum and that is why there is a difference in the reading section where you are asked more academic and tough questions in the academic reading test and you are asked easier questions in the general reading test but you should not think that getting a band score is easier in general training compared to an academic training because if you get the same number of answers correct then in academic training you will get higher band score in the general training you will get lower band score to give you an example to get an absolute nine score in reading you have to make all the answers correct all 40 out of 40 correct to get a band nine in general training also, there is a difference in the writing section for academic and general test. In the writing task one for academic test, you have to answer based on a graph, a table, a data, a map, and you have to describe it based on your analytical skills. But in the general training, you have to actually write a letter and you are just based on your how well you have written the letter. And the letter format is very similar to the letters that you used to write in your high school. Please note that uh, speaking, listening and writing task two are entirely same for academic and general training and there is no difference coming to the scoring part in IELTS you are judged based on your band score and to get the band score you have to combine your band score of listening writing reading and speaking that means the band ranges from one to nine where nine says that you are very very proficient in one section and your total band score is calculated by averaging the band scores of all the four sections that you have attempted the band score is also rounded off that means if you're getting an 8.25 average then they will make it to 8.5 but as it happened in my case i got 8.125 in the average and my band score was converted into eight so you should also remember that the rounding off can have a little bit impact on your score Coming to the IELTS test centers, so each center is either affiliated to British Council or they are affiliated to IDP Australia. The level of the test is always same, so you can take any test from any center. The test centers are mostly located in the big cities of the world. 
but there are also some small test centers that conduct exams once in a month and most of those examinations are the paper based examination so talking about the paper based examination let me tell you that there are two modes of taking examination one is the computer delivered test and one is the paper based test in the computer delivered test you have to take the complete test on a computer screen while as the name suggests the paper based test you have to take the test in the paper i would recommend you to always go for a computer delivered test if you have a decent typing skill because it can give you multiple advantages like you don't have to take care of your handwriting it's very easy to edit you can count the number of words and it can make a huge difference uh, in your writing section but again the final call relies on you whether you want to take the computer delivered test or the paper based test finally talking about the cost of this examination this exam is an expensive examination and the cost depends on the country you are taking it for example in singapore i had to pay 365 singapore dollars that is roughly around 19000 rupees but in india you have to pay around 14000 rupees to take the same examination so since it's an expensive exam always make sure that you have good preparation before you appear for it and talking about the preparation i'm thinking about making a four part series for preparing for listening reading writing and speaking examinations and in those videos i will cover all the hacks and tips that helped me in scoring a band 80 score in the ielts for more videos please stay tuned to this channel and also like share and subscribe to this video and until next time peace